the first document I found um, was the Aetna slave policy uh, and pay restitution. And uh, as soon as the story broke in the media, they backed down on the restitution. And you feel Boston is what it represented? Well, Fleet Boston, I've actually. And what drives you? Justice. I'd like to see, I'd like to see that the truth is told and that these corporations that uh, committed horrendous acts against my ancestors, pay restitution. They should not be able to keep assets they acquired, stealing people and stealing labor. Uh, the descendants continue to suffer collective sort of problems. They suffer from um, extraordinary problems in health care, in education, in housing, in, in, in every facet of life, um, infant mortality, uh, life expectancy, in all, of the, in all the areas that speak to the quality of life, uh, the descendants continue to suffer. The monies that come will be put in a collective fund that will then address those problems collectively as opposed to someone will go to their mailbox and pull a check out. If our ancestors, and they did, created that wealth, then it seems to me in a very logical way that the stat descendants should benefit from that, from that wealth. Because that wealth having been passed down from generation to generation, companies, foundations, individual families in this nation, it seems to me that those who was directly responsible for creating it, since they did not benefit, notwithstanding the fact that they invested their labor and their lives and all the torture and, um, and dehumanizing process that went with slavery, then surely their descendants should, just as the descendants of, of the wealth on the uh, plantation owner and slave owners, uh, their descendants are still enjoying the wealth. And many companies that came out of the slave period, their economic foundation was based and stability was based on slave labor and the blood, sweat, and tears of slaves.